What are you doing Friday night? Nothing. Well, you are now. Friday night, we're going to get dressed to the nines, get picked up in a limo, and have a fabulous romantic dinner. Daffy, what you just described is a date. I'm not going on a date with you. Oh, you're right. I didn't think of it that way. Hey, Porky. Want to go on a romantic date Friday night? I mean, would you love to? No, you idiot. Ask a woman. I'm so excited. I'm so glad you called. I've got... Ask a woman? But I have horrible luck with women. Uh, our next bachelor is... Daffy Duck. Let's keep this money train rolling, ladies. Daffy has no job. And no education. And a credit score of negative 13. Let's start the bidding at $50. Anyone? It's for the uh, charity. Tax deductible. Gross. Yeah, well, we tried. Thanks again for watching, Em. I want to start a family with you. What? So, how are things? <sighs> oh, I don't know. Complicated. Talk to me. Get this, my dance teacher has a crush on me. What's complicated about that? Well, A, I'm not interested, and B, I'm taking the class as a favor to a friend. But now with all the weirdness in the air, I, I don't want to go back. Listen, girl, don't let this teacher get under your skin. You made a commitment to a friend, you gotta follow through on that commitment. You're right. You're so right. You know what else is right? The amount of volumizer I used on your perm. Hi, guys. Are you living? This is my friend, Nancy. Nice to meet you. Call me when you're ready to do something with that. I'm going to get my pilot's license. I've already got a driver's license and a cosmetology license. That's two of the big five licenses. You living? The big five licenses? Driver's license. Cosmetology license, pilot's license, fishing license, and license to kill. I can't wait to get that one. So, uh, Tina, I, I was wondering if by any chance you're not doing anything tonight, which you probably are because you're not ugly, but if for some reason you're not, would you maybe possibly, no pressure if you can't, just wondering, you know, would you like to go out with me? Maybe. Yeah, I'd love to. Well, you can't blame a guy for trying. I said I'd love to go out with you. Really? Yeah, it'll be fun. Great! I'll pick you up at eight. Don't use that money. You'll get arrested. Porky, I am nothing if not a man of principle. Now let's break into this apartment. Tell me about yourself. Okay. Uh, well, uh, what do you want to know? I'm rich. Very rich. But a do-gooder. I help poor people. Orphans, whales, you know. But... Look, if you're not going to tell me about yourself, let me take a shot. You're an insecure little weirdo who lies about everything and probably cries himself to sleep every night. Wow, you're good. Well, I guess that state's over. Hey, get back here. Relax. It's not over. But you said all those horrible true things about me. Am I an apple or a pear shape? Be quiet! Pear. You ever forgive me? I don't know what I would do if I ever lost you! I mean, I'm sure I'd date again. Who knows? Maybe I'd meet somebody better. Come on, let's go to dinner. What? I'm a pear! The skirt draws the eye to my trim waistline and away from my generous hip area. I'll give it back. Michael? Who's Michael? Dear Tina, I can't wait to see you again. I miss you and love you? What are you doing? Who's Michael? What? Do not play dumb with me. I read the email from Michael. Michael's my brother. You met him? Oh, right. Let's see what we've got here. One boy, two girls... And a monster. 
No obvious athletes. None of you attractive. What's your name? Emily. Emily? I'm never going to remember that. What about you? Andrew? Yeah, these names are impossible. You know what? I'm just going to call everyone Jennifer. Now, Jennifer, any pre-existing injuries I should know about? No, I get stomach Not aches. Not really. What does pre-existing mean? Whoa, 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 whoa. Jennifer, I was talking to Jennifer. Which Jennifer? Okay, I'm obviously going to have to dumb it down for you guys. So, you're Jennifer 1, you're Jennifer... Wait, no. You're Jennifer 1, you're Jennifer 2, you're Jennifer 3... And you're, I was going to say Jennifer 4, but you don't look like a Jennifer 4, so you're going to be Jennifer 3, and you're going to be Emily. But that's my actual name. Won't that be confusing? Now, let's get in the pool. Don't look at that. Is this the email you were talking about? I can't look. Man, this is long. Foghorn, Speedy. Whoa, you really laid into those gophers. Oh, here we go. I know I've said a lot of terrible things about a lot of terrible people, but I've saved the terriblest for my girlfriend, Tina. Ooh. I have known many deranged people in my life, but I've never encountered the kind of profound mental instability that she possesses. Ooh. Tina Russo is a psychopath. It's worse than I thought. She may have <sighs> everyone else fooled, but I know the truth. Why else would the kindest, most beautiful, generous, and intelligent woman in the world go out with someone like me? I love you. What? You're not gonna kill me? Eh, call me crazy. Actually, I called you a psychopath. But I'm just an innocent schoolgirl, and this is my baby brother! Put on the diaper! My name is... Professor... Duck! That doesn't look right. Ah, when F2 S's. That's weird. I gotta memorize this. Good morning, Mr. Doc. Good morning, Mr. Doc. Good morning, Mr. Doc. Hold my calls, Carol. Hold my calls! I've always wanted to say, hold my calls! And now someone's holding my calls! Who's calling me? I don't know! I don't care! You find a female merman who is working at a kiosk Selling cell phone covers and personalized keychains Your hand brush is one of her tentacles and she just melts inside Tentacle? Shut up! Her manager gets insanely jealous and stabs you with his trident and you're dead you with his trident and you're dead That's how you know you're in